Hi, I'm Toby with Toby Nelson Events and Sustainable Floral Design. Would you like to move away from foam for your floral centerpieces? In today's video, I have nine foam-free centerpiece design mechanics that I'm going to share with you. Some are reusable and some are compostable, but you won't have an excuse to use foam after you watch this video. I will start with good old chicken wire, which is my favorite go-to mechanic for a centerpiece. Um, when I use the chicken wire, I like to make sure that I'm getting plastic coated because it prevents any sort of um, interaction between your floral solutions and the wire. It also allows it to remain longer. If you get uncoated, it can rust. So it's worth a little plastic, I think, to be able to reuse this mechanic again and again and again and again. I will either use one long piece folded over so that I have a few horizons, or I will use two small pieces stacked. So in this case, I've got one small piece that I will set into the bottom of the vase, and then I have another piece that I will set in on top, and that creates two horizons for me to insert my stems into, giving me lots of rigidity of, or lots of control over my design. I would either put a tape grid over the top of this or I would use sure stick to hold those pieces of floral, of, sorry, of uh, chicken wire in place. Or you could tie a string around like a package to hold it in place and then remove the string when you're done um, and all the stems should stay in place. So that's my favorite go-to. My second favorite go-to would be floral frogs. So you will see these at um, antique stores all over the place. These are good for big sturdy branches. A cage frog is also great for branches and many of them are heavy enough that they stay put in the vase when you set them down so you don't really need to do any further anchoring. This is called a hairpin frog. This is made by Floral Genius which is an American company. I love them. So I recommend Floral Genius frogs. This is also a Floral Genius pin frog. Um, the way I attach these to the vase is I use sure stick which is a very sort of sticky floral putty that I put around the outside of the frog and then I press it into the center of the vase. It's helpful to fold a towel to press it into place. You just do that and then you can impale your flowers right on top. If you're making a big grand crazy sort of arrangement you can combine a pin frog with layers of chicken wire for a lot of control and stability. And I'll go over that in future design tutorials. So that is our floral frog thought. Another mechanic that I love is Excelsior. Excelsior is a wood shaving product that is commonly a waste product from importers like ceramics importers. Sometimes you can find it at a garden supply if they import statuary. It's also used in the upholstery business and sometimes you can find it there or you can just buy it online. But this wood shaving is nice for when you're using a transparent glass and you want something that is somewhat attractive. Um, it gives you a matrix to put your stems into, but also it's not unattractive and it kind of hides the chaos of all the stems in the vase. One thing about Excelsior is that as it gets wet, it will sag a little bit, so you definitely want to combine this with a nice clear tape grid on top to help maintain the stem placement control, but this is a lovely matrix to use. Um, next would be, have you heard of the Holly and Syndicate sales pillows? These are a recyclable plastic. You can also reuse them a ton. So I've reused these for hanging installations, for wall mounts, for arbors. I use them for elevated centerpieces and low. This is a poor size match of container to pillow, but basically you rest the pillow on top of the container and you design right in. The awesome thing about these for events and for elevated centerpieces is that you can design into your vase but then lift it off and your design will stay intact, set it on a bucket for delivery, and then place it back on the vase when you get to the venue, and that helps keep your vases clean. Another wonderful reusable mechanic is the Flora Guppy. And one thing I like about the Flora Guppy over the Holly Pillows is that it's clear, so it's much less noticeable if you're using this in a clear glass vase. 
And when I got my guppy, they sent it with these dowels, which I think is a wonderful idea if you want to suspend it on the surface of any size face. There you go. You've got your mechanic. Um, you would definitely want to use these when you were going to retain your mechanic, but they're not so crazy expensive. I think they're a lovely little thing. Oh, then we have what is called a kubari. Now, if we weren't sheltering in place from the coronavirus, I would be using willow for this mechanic. But since I don't have willow, I'm using some honeysuckle vine that I've stripped the leaves from. The important thing with the Kubari Mechanic is that you use a clean, naked, smooth stem that does not have any bit of leaf tissue on it. And the idea is that you just make a tangle of stem in your vase, and it can be real helpful to then use a tape grid on top of this, or you can do the string where you wrap it like you would a little brown paper package tied up with string. But by basically putting a wad of branch in the center of your container, you then have a matrix for your stems to go into. Um, and then you would use a clear tape such as this to make like a tic-tac-toe grid over your wad of um, branches and you begin to design. That's called a kubari. Last is a new product that's been introduced from the Netherlands. It's not available for sale in the United States yet, but you can order it. It's called AgriWool, and they're calling it 100% natural floral foam, but it is a spun basalt and sucrose product that is 100% natural and compostable. So um, I, will, I have a little video series in my Instagram on um, sustainable floral design, and so you can watch there for more information on AgriWool. I hope today will help you to wean yourself from the floral foam habit. If you like this, be sure to like and follow Sustainable Floral Design for more floral design tips and tricks. Thank you very much.